Welcome back to The Note. Damn it, Janet. We heard from the FOMC this afternoon, and it's a statement that appears to have perturbed more or less everybody. The main points are that the Fed continues to say that it will be patient before raising rates. That means that we can't see a rate rise before the June meeting at the very earliest. It's actually strengthened its descriptions of the uh, economy at present. That could be seen as a hawkish sign. It's that much more positive than it was before about the labour market. However, it's added international developments to the factors that it will take into account before it raises rates. That means that it will take into account the strong dollar, which is followed from virtually everybody else, including now even the Singaporeans, decided to ease their monetary policy, and also the growing risk or growing fear of capital flight from Greece that we're seeing at the moment. So you could call that a relatively balanced assessment. However, the stock market took this as a very strong hawkish statement. The S&P 500 was roughly flat for the day at the time that the Fed statement came out. After that, it dropped by almost 1.5%. It's on a bad run at the moment. Meanwhile, we can now show you uh, the impact on the uh, currency and bond markets. The dollar on a trade weighted basis gains strongly after this, suggesting again that the foreign exchange market thinks this is hawkish. It's almost back to its uh, decade-long highs. Meanwhile, the 30-year Treasury bond dropped, its yield dropped to a new historic low. The bond market plainly is betting that the Fed is not going to be able to raise rates simply because the dollar is going to be too strong. It's not going to permit it. Now, how exactly is the dollar going to affect the, uh, the economics of the US? Plainly, the US is not as dependent on exports as other major countries. The S&P 500 earning season certainly has shown an effect from the strong dollar. But that's largely because of foreign subsidiaries rather than exports. In other words, this is activity which does affect the profit and loss account of corporate America but doesn't affect the uh, export trade balance of the US. It's not necessarily an argument for the Fed to hold off from raising rates. My own broad uh, interpretation as best I can manage is that this is a statement from a Fed that still wants to maintain the credibility that it will be raising rates later this year and does indeed want to raise rates later this year. But I can see a lot in what the bond market is saying, the risks that it's simply not going to be able to do so, thanks to the international situation, are increasing.